We're going to show you how to program a batch controller, a McNaught batch controller, and the model of that is a GB030. With this one we have, it's a 240 volt version, so we have a, a lead powering it up, but normally you'll power this with 24 volts DC. Now, in the functions, to get into the functions, we need to press and hold the program key and this will get us into the program function and you'll see that the display will change comes up with a setup and we start in chapter one and chapter one is for preset now to go and cycle through chapter one we press the middle key which is the up key and that will go through chapter 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5 and back to one now if we want to go to the next chapter, to chapter 2, we press the right key. We'll start into chapter 1. Now we'll go up to 1.1 and it's for units. And shown in the top right hand corner is the little L for litres. And that's what we want, is it to be litres. 1.2 is for decimal places. Now we will program this to be a 2 inch metre just for... Um, the event to go through. This will be a two inch meter so because we're going to be up to 300 liters per minute we don't want to have any decimal points so if we're using a small flow meter like in a half inch you might want to put one decimal point but we'll leave it at no decimal points. So 1.2 is no decimal points. 1.3 is the K factor and this is set for one. Now your K factor is your multiplication uh, factor for the amount of pulses per litre that is the output from the flow meter. And for our 050 or our two inch meter, that will be 6.68. So what I need to do is change this one to read 6.68. And we do that by pressing the program key quickly. And you'll see this flashes the left hand digit quickly the program button flashes and then what we do is we move our right button until we get to six point now this is the digit the third left right hand digit I need to change to read six so I press my up key until that reads six and then I move across one digit I need six and then my last digit needs to be eight Okay, now I've entered in 668, and then what I do is I press my enter key so that I enter that into chapter 1.3. Now chapter 1.4 is for the decimal points for the K factor, and at the moment, chapter 1.3, I've entered in 668. Now I need to put two decimal points so that it will read 6.68. So we do that by pressing the program key and you'll see this program flashes then I can change using that it's changed to one I need two decimal points and then I press enter and that has loaded that into chapter 1.4 so I need to go to 1.5 and that's the batch max and what that is you can set like a maximum if you're batching 500 liters into drums or a container and you don't want to go any more than 700 litres or 600 litres, you can enter the maximum quantity that you want in there. Now, I know our two inch flow meter will do up to 500 litres per minute, um, and it basically goes on the volume that you need to flow into your tank or your container or whatever it is. So if your container that you'll ever do is gonna be, say, 1,000 litres, you could set this to be 1000 litres and I'll show you how to do that. We press our enter key and you can see our digits flash. I will move across until I can get my 1000. So now I've entered 1000, I press my enter key and that has entered it in. So that means that this controller will never batch more than 1000 litres. What we'll do is we'll go to chapter 1.6. There is no chapter 1.6, so we go back to chapter 1. 
Now what I'll do, I'll just scroll through chapter 1 to make sure that we've entered everything correct. So 1.1 is for unit in litres up the top. 1.2 is the decimals, no decimals. Chapter 1.3 is the K factor, is 668. Chapter 4 is two decimal points on my 668, which makes it back to 6.68. Chapter 1.5 is my batch max, and I've set it to 1,000 that I don't want to batch more than 1,000 litres ever. Back to Chapter 1. We press our right-hand button, and that will go up to Chapter 2. So we scroll through Chapter 2. We have the disable for the overrun and we have the time for the overrun. Now this will be to set, if you find that you're batching say 200 litres and you find that this controller is cutting short uh, and you're only batching 195 litres, what we can do is we can enable this function and put a time in and it will actually delay the shut off to uh, allow for any discrepancies in your pipe work, actuation of your valve or any other problems and you can alter this so that you end up getting your right batch quantity. So at the moment chapter 2.1 in the overrun is disabled and chapter 2.2 .2 is the uh, overrun time. So I'll leave that because we want to make sure that it works first. We'll then go to chapter 3, and this is for your display. We scroll through, 3.1 is to increase. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the value um, that we're going to put in the batch to increase. So we will start from zero and increase up. If we're batching 200 litres, the display will read zero. It'll count up until it gets to 200 litres, and then the controller will stop. You can have it the other way where when you press the start you can have it in decrease so that it starts off with 200 and it counts down but we'll leave it as increase. Chapter 3.2 is for the backlight. We have this off uh, and all that does is it uh, allows the display. We can change that. I'll make that green, amber or off. So I'll make it green and enter that. Now, your brightness is on 5, and that is for the um, display so that you can read it in low light without the backlight. So we'll leave it at 5. Chapter 3 is back to the display. We'll move along to Chapter 4. And Chapter 4 is for Power Man. 4.1 is for the LCD and that is for an update time of one second. So we'll leave that at one second. 4.2 is for the battery mode and that is operate. The batch controllers don't normally come with a battery because they need 24 volts to operate so this doesn't really matter. Four, so chapter four is finished. We'll go to chapter five. Chapter five is for the flow meter. Chapter 5.1 is for the signal. Now this is the pulses that you're going to receive from your flow meter to this controller um, to how you're going to read your flow rate. So at the moment it's set for a coil on a low pulse. So we need to change that to, if it's a hall sensor, you'll need NPN. If it's a read switch, you'll need a read. So I'm going to program it for a read switch. So I press my program button and you'll see the program start to flash. I will cycle through all the uh, options. So we got active, we got NPN. So if it's for a hall sensor, we use NPN. NPN LP, so it's a low pass filter. We've got a read and then we have read LP. So if we're using a read switch, we use read LP and then I press the, end, the program key or enter key and then that will lock that into the program. Back to five, so I'll just go back through here and check, 5.1 is set for read LP. 
we go to chapter 6 is for others and this basically goes through and tells you all the functions of this controller so it's a model FO30-P for pulse input we go through the versions uh, passwords and other functions we don't really need and that goes through so if I scroll to the next chapter we go back to one so this is how we program for a batch controller now what I'll do is we'll get out of the program and to do that we press the program key for three seconds and that brings us back into our normal operation you'll see it has a ready light up and we have zero and zero liters now what you can do is you can program in to do a set value for your batching and then you press your start key and because I have nothing set in it won't let me so if you press your start key the ready will go from ready to start or run and then you can press your stop key if you need it to, to stop and that's how you program basic functions in our batch controller